Hey guys, this is Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make a quick uh, video blog of um, my first day shooting street photography with a flash um, in LA. Um, I did it once with Charlie Kirk when I went to Paris. And I probably only took like five photos and there was a bunch of people with me. So I wasn't, you know, quite sure how the real experience really was. And um, so I just, I, I had this lying around. It's an old Canon uh, 430EX. Um, I first got it when I was into photography and I used it for like a lot of events and stuff. And I picked up this really awesome cord right here. It's just a, a wireless uh, hot shoe cord. And I got it really cheap on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, I know they have they sell Canon ones, which are like more legit, but um, it works totally fine. And of course, here is the Leica M9. Um, and surprisingly enough, this bad boy connects up here. Right, snug there. And you see my zoom, my flash is getting powered up and I could take a photo uh, and it, it wires it. Um, some of you guys are curious about some of the settings I used. Um, I used F16. Um, my ISO was set at, oh shit, I actually turned that off. Um, my ISO was set at 640. Um, shutter speed was at 125th of a second, I believe. And um, my flash was at 35 millimeters and full power, um, if that helps anybody. And um, not only that, but, um, well, what I was supposed to do, which I kind of failed at tonight, was, um, you know, I have my, my GoPro HD, which is um, kind of an action camera. Um, a lot of uh, surfers c uh, use it because waterproof or like snowboarders. They actually have an attachment you can put on your head and you know, you go snowboard around. And so, uh, you know, I actually put it on top of my, my leg like this. And I was supposed to go out tonight and do a bunch of street photography with the flash. One of the things I noticed that was really annoying actually is that this offshoot flash, for some reason the flash comes out from the front instead of the back. So it was kind of like really getting in, my, in front of my lens and stuff when I was shooting. So I just kind of wrapped it around my finger like this when I shot. It wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, it was, it was really interesting. Um, unfortunately, what happened was uh, my GoPro, the battery only lasted for like five minutes. So just as I was about to go out and take photos, uh, the battery died. Um, and I have a little bit of footage. I'm not sure if I'll, I, want, I quite want to show it yet because um, essentially what it shows is, you know, uh, me testing out the camera and walking down the elevator and on the right I see this uh, this Asian woman and you know she's like standing in front of a pole she looks pretty interesting so I just kind of circled around her took the flash and shot it into her face and you know when I first when she first I took the first of all she like kind of screamed like, ah and I was like oh my god this kind of scared me too and I felt you know I felt a little guilty and you know uh, I approached her and she's like did you just take my photo and she I think she was a tourist or something or um, recently came to America or something because she had an accent. But anyways, she's like, "Oh, did you take your? Did you take my photo?" And I'm like, "Oh no, you know, I just try to think of a really lame excuse. I was taking a photo of that tree um, behind you, which was a total lie because I just pointed this straight into her face." Um, and uh, she was like, "Oh, you know, da 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 da. Um, can you can you check see if I got uh, you know." Uh, you, t you shot my photo I'm like oh yeah sure you know I showed her the back of my camera and I went through the LCD screen and just started going through the images and said um, and then, you know there's of course a photo of her and she's like oh you know that photo can you delete it and I'm like oh yeah sure you know I'll just delete it so I just went through a photo I just deleted it and then she's like oh you know thank you and I just kind of walked off and that was literally my first shot of the night and I felt kind of taken back a little bit because first of all I was actually quite surprised how freaking bright this damn thing was um when i first shot it it was at full power and i'm like whoa this is a little strong maybe i toned it down and they made it like um around half power um but then as i kept shooting throughout the night i found out that wasn't strong enough but anyways i had a little bit of footage of um that confrontation with that woman um i kind of want to upload it just for the sake of illustrating the story but at the same time um you know people are just i think people are just gonna take the video and just 
circle it around the internet. It's like, oh man, look at this asshole Eric Kim just scaring innocent people. But whatever. So I probably, I probably won't. Um, once I get some more footage, I'm like currently in the process of uh, charging the, the GoPro. So hopefully tomorrow night I'll be able to do it. Uh, because unfortunately, I have to send the Leica M9 back to Leica. I'm probably going to send it about Friday-ish. Um, you know, Leica was really generous to lend me, uh, you know, check out the Leica M9 and test it and review it. And, you know, huge thanks to Leica for giving me that wonderful opportunity. But alas, all good things must come to an end. So, and I was a loner, so I'm going to send it back. Um, so, I, you know, really before I sent it back, I wanted to, you know, try all, all this crazy stuff before I got back. But anyways, um, just to continue the rest of my story, so I just um, was wandering around Santa Monica and, you know, the the battery light on the, the GoPro was flickering on and off and I couldn't really, you know, it kept dying on me, so I'm like, ah, oh, screw it, you know, I'm just going to take this thing off and shoot. And the note, uh, the second I actually um, took this thing off my camera, uh, took this thing off, you know, the camera was a lot lighter and kind of the, the way that I was walking is... You know, I had the camera strapped around my neck, um, and, you know, had it laying around here, and then the flash is kind of put by my side. So I'm just kind of walking, walking, and once I saw a uh, photo opportunity, I would, let's see, stretch it out my, my, um, the flash out like here, and like shoot it at like a 45 degree angle, and take photos. And some of the photos I actually took were people's backs to the walls, and Charlie Kirk taught me an interesting technique where I actually held the flash directly to the side and it cast a very interesting shadow the opposite way um, so I was doing a bunch of street photography with the flash and you know in the beginning I felt a little self-conscious and I just started taking some photos and I tried a bunch of different techniques so first of all uh, one technique I tried was just not asking for permission and just going in front and taking the photos and you know most people were pretty were like really annoyed by that like I, one of the guys was like what the hell? And then I just kept walking and he didn't chase after me or anything like that. Um, somebody else was like, oh my god, did you take a photo of me or something like that? And I just kept walking, I just ignored them and they didn't follow me. Um, another technique I tried that worked a little better is that I was approaching and I just kind of made eye contact with a photo, uh, a person I wanted to take a photo of. And then I just kind of looked at them, they kind of looked at me, I smiled, I went in to take the photo and I took the photo. And after I took the photo, you know, I would say, oh, you know, I really like your hat or I really like your hair or whatever. And most people just smiled back and said, oh, you know, thanks. And, you know, just playing that Asian touristy thing. Um, another thing I tried, which I actually had some success in, is when I was approaching a person, before actually taking their photo, I would say something like, I like your shirt, and then go click, and then smile, and then they smiled back, and that worked pretty well. Um, the... For the most part, I was actually surprised that most people, you know, I think it's because I was shooting on the Third Street Promenade, which is kind of a touristy, friendly area. Um, a lot of people go there for shopping, and I was there at night. It's a really safe place to shoot photography. Especially with Flash. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to do this in downtown LA or anything like that. I, you know, it's really dangerous down there. Because shooting with a Flash, it's, it's, you know, it's something that I think is really beautiful because... When you're taking these images, you kind of control your own sun, as Charlie Kirk says it. And you could really, by controlling the light, you really create a different type of image. And you actually, it's like you're adding that fourth dimension almost that um, you could be so much more creative with your shots. Because by controlling the flash, like um, if I hold this at a 45 degree angle like this, you'll put, you know, a certain angle of the flash or if, one technique I actually tried was putting the flash right under people's chins, that only their faces would be lit up, and the back, uh, background is completely pitch black, and it's really, really fascinating, uh, really fascinating stuff. Um, and, you know, I really I really enjoyed the process, and most people, yeah, they seemed pretty decently okay with it, as long as you just kind of walk around, and, you know, I was, just, I was just wearing my little flannel, and had my camera strapped around my neck, and it didn't look very threatening at all, so I don't think people were really set back. Um, probably the, the most confrontational story that I have tonight was, you know, I saw this guy, he's got this crazy beard and he looked like kind of a tough guy and I was, um, walking and I kind of sh sh was walking with my flash getting ready to take a shot. And then he looked at me, I looked at him and I said, I like your beard. And I went click flash. And then the guy just kind of gave me a dirty look and then walked back a few steps. 
And then I kind of turn around and I see this guy walking towards me. He just like shoves me in the back really hard. And he like yelled at me or something. His girlfriend like was like kind of, uh, you know, looked like a rough chick too. She just kind of gave me like this really death stare. And this guy just like, and just like walked off. He shoved me pretty hard, but like, I mean, he didn't like punch me in the face or anything like that. Um, so, you know, that, that shook me up a little bit. Um, but, I mean, I've been shooting on the streets long enough that, um, you know, it doesn't really faze me that much. But thank God I wasn't doing this in Skid Row in Los Angeles or something. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Um, yeah, so for those who are interested in shooting street photography with Flash, I mean, definitely, I think everyone should definitely try it at least once. Um, it definitely takes a huge amount of balls. I mean, um, if you're having difficulty shooting people in public uh, without a Flash, shooting with a Flash is going to be like 10 times more difficult. Um, but still, this, the thing that surprised me was when I was shooting, I would say around 80 people, 80% 80 of the people didn't really seem to mind. 20% of the people didn't really like it, either like yelled or screamed or got freaked out. Um, and also, you know, adjusting the power of the flash, I think it's really important is that, you know, especially when you're shooting in the middle of the night, you don't want it at full power or else it's just a little too bright. When it's kind of like at half power, uh, a quarter of a power, um, it's bright, but it's about as bright as like a point and shoot maybe. So it's not just overwhelming because like, you know, this thing, it's, it's really powerful. I mean, it's got four, four double A batteries in it and just, it's really strong. So, you know, when I first took that photo of the woman, like I was actually kind of surprised how uh, bright it was. Um, yeah, so that was my first, uh, night experience, uh, shooting shoot photography with the flash. Um, I have some of the photos, um, uh, I have it, it's going to be below. Um, if you guys want to see it, um, yeah, so if you have any questions about this experience, uh, leave a question in the comments, um, you know, and once again, you know, thanks to Leica for giving me the opportunity to, uh, check out the M9, I really appreciate it, uh, hopefully we could work more in the future, and also to Charlie Kirk, who was the first one who, uh, really inspired me to do it, I've seen Bruce Gilden's work before, but I'm like, oh, you know, that's Bruce Gilden, his, you know, his crazy, he could do anything he wants, and, um, seeing Charlie's work really inspired me, and when I was actually in Paris, he actually showed me how he did it, um, and showing me the different angles, uh, the different angles he used, and, um, still someone really inspirational, and, um, someone who really pushes me to, uh, improve my photography, um, so yeah, so, Man, this is like already 13 minutes long almost. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, stay posted and hopefully enjoy the photos. Peace.